appetizer, they're serving me uh, tomato and cheese bruschetta. It just smells in your mouth. I really like it. I like this one. I love my desserts when uh, they have a generous amount of cream in it. This one is the best amount of the two. I mean, the three. It's really good. Very good. This is Coca-Cola Hunger Hunt. Hey everybody, you're watching Coca-Cola Hunger Hunt and today I'm taking you to one of my favorite secret places to eat here at Jumpstick Hill. I'm standing right opposite the roadhouse. We have to take a little walk. Come with me. Oh, no. Just a little walk. On your right. So guys, this is the place I'm talking about. Lakpash Chulo. There is a story that dates back five years. Uh, I made a friend, Tha. Her name is Ang Chichi Sherpa. And then she used to make me um, this dish called Roasty. I don't know, Swiss Swiss dish, wala. And then she got married and you know, like I cannot bump into an in-laws place and eat, right? So I had to find an alternative. And someone told me, yeah, I'm gonna meet a Roasty pouncer. And five years ago, I came here at this Pachima. Come here often to have Roasty, but as I say, we're eating something else. Come with me. My name is Rosen Pradhan. I'm the Lakpas Chulo for Managing Director. Lakpas Chulo is established in 2009. This is our family business. My name is Lakpas Chulo. We have established this restaurant. This oil is our business. We have a new generation shift. So right now, I'm the business here this way. Lakpas Chulo ko many maza amro Italian de Hindi ra Thai. We have Nepali as well as Nepali as well. But we are focusing on our lunch menu. Amro three four set menu sir. Appetizer maza tapai le chicken momo or spinach cheese momo. Unsa main course maza hi Thai green curry, red or green ma. And dessert maza hi lemon cheese cake. Me all ko meal maza hi amro bruschetta and nachos starters ma. And main course maza chicken parmesan or homemade ravioli ravioli. As we go hunger on maza hi hamle starters ma bruschetta din maso. Main course maza hi chicken parmesan or amro dessert maza hi lemon meringue pie din maso. A three-course combo set at a value price of only Rs. 585 plus the bat. And included in the lunch set are bruschetta for appetizer, chicken parmigiana for main course, and lemon meringue pie for dessert. Okay, this is my appetizer, and for appetizer, they're serving me uh, tomato and cheese bruschetta. I like the bruschetta first because they're bite-sized. Um, there's not too much stuffing in here. There is stuffing bones, everything just falls off and the whole eating experience is not really good. The cheese and the tomato infused together very nicely. The bread is obviously toasted, so it is crunchy. And this kumati, they have garlic butter and then tomato and cheese. A little bit onions as well. A little red wine and um, cheese of course. And olive oil too. I can also get a little hint of parsley which is uh, sprinkled on top. When you're serving uh, tomato and cheese bruschetta, if you do not use good cheese, it will just spoil your bruschetta. But this one has mozzarella cheese, so it gives off a very rich taste. The way they make these is quite interesting. First, they start by slicing a baguette, which is a long French bread into five pieces. These sliced bread are then toasted and glazed with garlic butter. Then the toppings are added on top, which includes a mix of diced tomatoes and onions, crushed garlics, and chopped basil, seasoned with a dressing of olive oil, red wine, and breakfast sugar. After that, they top each bruschetta with thin slice of mozzarella cheese and toast it again, so that the cheese melts. Finally, a pinch of chopped parsley sprinkled atop the bruschetta. So this is my last piece and before I finish everything, the uh, the best part, what I like about this bruschetta is that it is um, tangy and sweet. Tangy because there are tomatoes in here and uh, sweetness is coming from the mixture of olive oil and a little sugar. The dressing is good. The next 
dish and the main course of this lunch set happens to be chicken parmigiana, which is essentially seared chicken breast topped with mariana sauce, parsley, and three types of cheese. The chicken breasts are marinated in a mix of eggs and milk and coated with breadcrumbs before searing them. Then, tomato puree is mixed with olive oil, mariana sauce, salt, pepper, and basil to make the sauce, which is then reduced over a medium flame. Then, the chicken is topped first with parmesan cheese, then a layer of parmesan cheese followed by mariana sauce, cheese, and then with cold cheese and with some mozzarella before toasting it in the oven, where the heat melts the cheese and infuses them with bread. And on the side are boiled veggies, which are salted and unsavory, but definitely a healthy choice. Okay, this looks gorgeous. This is my second meal, the main course. This is called chicken parmigiana and uh, it is served with well, vegetables on the side and couscous. This is um, chicken breast topped with their homemade sauce, which is a tomato-based sauce and cheese. Mm, good. Turns out this is marinara sauce. Um, it is a tomato-based sauce, but they've used uh, Italian herbs in it. So let's get started. marinara sauce uh, used uh, in here. The chicken tastes sweet, otherwise um, it is salty. Oh, and I'm, I don't know if you can have a look at the base. Look. It has a subtle crispy texture. On the uh they've topped this with uh, three layers of cheese and marinara sauce. So, I mean, it just melts in your mouth. I really like it. The base is slightly crispy and it's not very juicy but very tender. So you can tell that they've cooked this chicken in a very right temperature. The best part about the Parmesan chicken here is the amount of cheese they've used and the size of the chicken. Combined with uh, the cheesy flavor profile and you know, marinara sauce for sweetness, it gives you a very you know, savory flavor profile as a whole. I'm supposed to have it with a couscous, but uh, just give me some time. So, choma couscous panin sa, boiled vegetables panin sa, which I'm not interested to eat. Uh, and I think these are there to just balance out everything on this plate. Sometimes this can get a little sweeter than you expect, depending on your taste buds. I love the fact that the chicken is made very well. Flavors are rich. Some of forgets a very good marination. And the, the best part is the the base. It just gives you a surprise with the slight crispiness. And here is my delicious looking dessert. I love my desserts when uh, they have a generous amount of cream in it. I'm gonna eat, use both my hands to eat this. <laughs> Look at the amount of cream in here. So this is not actually whipped cream, this is an egg-based cream that they have freshly made. Mmm! Oh, lovely! I love the dessert here. This one is the best among the two. I mean the three. It's really good. Very good. The delicious dessert is prepared with a pastry base, which is topped with an unbelievably sweet cream freshly made by whipping lemon butter, egg whites, sugar, and lemon zest. The cream when done looks fluffy and firm and white like whipped cream, but in reality, it tastes like marshmallow. This is uh, one of the best lemon meringue pies I've ever tried. Because it's my lemon ko essence china and the crust is really fresh and the cream is thick and nice. Uh, so you hear that say it looks very heavy, but um, it has a very light body and it just like instantly melts in your mouth. Mm, and it's so soft that all you can do four slab and it just crumbles down. But don't mind my messy eating habit, guys. This is delicious and I cannot help it. 
That was the most fulfilling and delicious three core combo lunch I've tasted in a while. From bruschetta to chicken parmigiana to the lemon meringue pie, all these dishes were well cooked and finely prepared. And all these come in only rupees 585 plus the VAT. If you order these separately, it will probably cost you twice the price. So if you happen to be around Chomsek Hill during daytime wondering where to eat, Lak Pash Chulo is the best choice. That was it for today guys. My favorite food to eat here at Lak Pash Chulo is uh, roasty and spinach momo, but I tried something different today and that was good too. Now, if you like our videos, give us a big thumbs up, subscribe to us and also press the bell icon to never miss an update. I'll see you next week with more of our interesting food stories. Bye-bye.